<laughs> Hi, Crossing family. Thanks for being with us today. Today's day 19 of the 21 days of prayer, and the topic is children's ministry. I'm Margie Hubert. And I'm Dave Hubert. You've probably heard many times that uh, children and grandchildren are our future. And I don't want you to get upset with me, but I, I would beg to differ with that. Uh, I believe that our children and grandchildren are also our present. They are our today. As they explore and discover life and the truths about life and express them to them in, in really profound ways, uh, they actually teach us an awful lot about life. I remember one time when I was visiting my brother and his wife, and she was in the final stages of cancer. She was very down and sad and hurting and discouraged and uh, devastated. And she just threw up her arms in exasperation and said, I just don't know what I'm gonna do. And I had ministered in funerals and been with people in hard times and my brother was there and we both just stood there not knowing what to do either. But there's someone that did know what to do. My uh, nephew, her nine-year-old son, Dale, said, well, I know what I'm gonna do. And he went over and he hugged her and cried with her. And he was not just, uh, didn't have to grow up to be an adult to do that. He was there right there in the present with her. Uh, there was an incident with Jesus in Luke 18, verses 15 through 17, where it says people brought babies to Jesus, hoping he might touch them. When the disciples saw it, they shooed them off. Jesus called them back. Let these children alone. Don't get between them and me. These children are the kingdom's pride and joy. Mark this, unless you accept God's kingdom in the simplicity of a child, you'll never get in. And so it's our children and grandchildren that can actually help us to enter the kingdom of heaven and learn how to do that. And now, here's a moment from our sponsor. Take it, Margie. Of all the ministries in the church, the greatest need for the number of people to staff it is the nursery in grades, um, kindergarten, nurseries through grade school. Um, we could use your help at the crossing and now's a perfect opportunity to volunteer because the church is opening back up on February 14th Yay. on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And they would love to hear from you that you want to help out in the nursery or any of the ministries for the children's services. Just contact Sarah Davidson and she'll get you hooked up and she'll be so happy and you can love on the church and our children. Mm -hmm. um, now we have the Bible verse that goes with today's topic and it's um, Proverbs 22. Train up a child in the way they should go and when they grow old, they will not depart from it. Now let's pray the uh, daily prayer today. <clears throat> Father, thank you for the blessing of life. As our children grow, may their parents and guardians raise them in your truth. When they experience struggles in this world, help them to see these as opportunities to know you deeper. We entrust them to you. Bless our children's pastor, Sarah, and her family as she guides her team to minister to the families of our little ones. May our children see you as they're guided by them. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for being here, everyone. See you in a couple weeks. February 14th.